Some men have always thought that they would die if they were caught for letting one tear go. Cause then the feelings just might show. And they don't want the world to know. With a music career that spans five decades, Lulu is without a doubt one of the singing greats. Back on the road with her first studio album in over a decade. And a huge part of this tour are the Military Wives Choirs, invited on stage with her every night to perform her new single, Cry. It's a song that my brother and I wrote, and it's about big boys don't cry. And then I thought, how do our armed forces deal with that? And then it came to me, maybe I could rewrite the lyrics, make them more specific to the military, and get the military wise choir to sing with me, and then come on tour, and that's exactly what happens. So, the, you know, we sell the record, the set rec- any money from the sales of the records goes to the military wives choir charity. So cry. Perth, it was the turn of the Edinburgh Military Wives Choir to take to the stage in front of an audience of 1,200. They were one of the early choirs, set up in 2012 when Gareth Malone's BBC show was at its height. There are now 75 choirs across the forces world, providing a support network for those affected by deployment, separation and the stresses of military life. It's a nice place that you can be open and friendly and you know no one's going to judge you here and it's just a nice way as a bit of an escape from normal life to just come in, meet the ladies and just have a a bit of a chat and as well as enjoying singing. So, yeah. (laughs) I'm guessing um, a great deal of sort of like emotional support and friendship amongst you girls as well. Absolutely. So, um, last (coughs) eight months has been quite hard for me. My husband's been away and uh, these girls, they, they get it. They get that, you know, you might find a song quite hard to sing or you might spontaneously cry. <laughs> um, but it's nice to be with people that understand what it's all about. 35 different choirs have been rehearsing for Lulu's tour across the UK, raising money for the Military Wives Choir Foundation charity. It will be the biggest performance they've ever done. It's quite a, quite a big arena, but it's a unique opportunity for us to, probably a once in a lifetime for many of the girls to go up and, and sing with someone quite famous and also um, in a really big arena, big stage. So we're really excited to do it. Perth Concert Hall was sold out for this event with some of Lulu's biggest fans. Fans with a newfound knowledge and respect for the military wives' choirs and the support they provide for their families. It's very moving on the stage. Um, and the audience is just, they give them a standing ovation every night. And um, some of the women get tearful. I, you know, I basically just, just bathe in their glory. And uh, then when we come off, we all scream with laughter. <laughs> so it has, you know, plays with both sides of, both, two sides of our emotions, you know. She was just so nice and she was so funny as well because when we were on stage, because during the song we have to keep quite serious faces because obviously it's quite a sombre song. And then afterwards when the song was over, she came over to us, you can actually smile and you can laugh. And it was just, she's just so down to earth and she's so nice. How does this rate in terms of, you know, experiences that you've had in your life? Where, where is this one set? It's pretty high up there. I mean, I suppose I better say my, my wedding day was, you know. Uh, but no, it's amazing. I've never performed in front of that many people. I, you know, I'm not really a singer. I joined the Militarised Choir for kind of something to do when my husband was, was, was away. So, um, yeah, amazing. Lulu's tour continues until the 22nd of April, with even more choirs taking to the stage. And her charity single, Cry, is available to download now. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Perth.